All right, gang. So let's um, let's dig into something that's been kind of uh, someone is asking about uh, some stuff. So I'm going to cover a little bit how to run a smart UL illustration. I want to show you something and see if we can do kind of a compare contrast type of deal. Okay, oh, you know what? I forgot to get the person that had their hand raised. Hold on, who was that? Another hand raised. I hope they didn't leave. Okay, well, you can um, chat at me with um, a question. If you all have questions, I'm looking, I'm monitoring the chat line. So if you have any questions, by all means, by all means please. Okay, so now most of all you know that you can do Smart UL on your phone, okay? But the limitations of doing Smart UL on your phone is you have really, you don't have the ability to show cash value growth within a policy. You can't really appeal to someone's greed beyond their need, okay? So Universal Life, I think, is a great product because you can appeal to someone's greed along with their need for life insurance at the same time. It's the idea of, putting equity into a policy versus renting an apartment with a term policy, okay? So I'm gonna kind of show you two ways that we can provide value to someone on a term program, okay? And actually I'll start with, I'm gonna start with, um, let me share this. I'm gonna start with Term Life Express Mutual of Omaha, because they have a return of premium rider, okay? And so this is the WinFlex software. So let's go to product list. Let's go to United of Omaha Term Life Express. Okay. Okay, so let's say we've got a client. Let's just use a 35-year-old client. Standard non-tobacco. Um, let's do, uh, say, 150,000 mortgage, right? 30-year bank service plan. That's a monthly um, EFT from their account. Riders, we're going to add the return. Um, let's just do it straight up. And let's show that. Okay, so 150,000, um, 30-year term. So you click on view. And so the price is 40, 48.33 for 30 years. So as long as they pay 48.33 for 40 years, they're gonna have that 150,000 in place. So till when he's 65. So from 35 to 65, okay? But after the age 65, he gets nothing. He just rented his apartment for 30 years, <laughs> 150,000, I think. Okay, so I don't really have the total cost. So let's just do the math, okay? So that's uh, 360 months, right? So. 48.33 times 360 months. So they will have paid $17,398 for their policy in 80 cents, okay? So let's compare that to adding the return of premium rider, okay? So let's add the rider, and the return of premium for Mutual of Omaha is always 100%, okay? So it's 100% return of premium. Okay, so the price jumped up to 81.36 a month, okay, times 360, 81.36 times 360. 
So they will have, have paid into it, if they live after 30 years, 29,289.60, okay? But they get all that money back, okay? And so what's the difference in price between the 48.33 and 81.63? 81.63 or 81.36 minus 48.33. So they're paying an additional $33.03 a month times 360. Eleven thousand eight ninety. 80. So they're paying an additional $33 a month to get back $29,289.60. All right. So that's really the difference. If they added another $3303, they're going to get the entire premium back of $29,000. So at the end of the first option, without the return of premium, they've spent $17,398. But if you bumped it up 3303 per month to 8136, they get 29289. So I'm going to see if I can get a financial calculator. Okay, so what is the guaranteed rate of return? Okay, so the target is 292860, which is the guaranteed return of premium. The starting is zero, because after 30 years, with a monthly contribution of 3303, which is the difference in price to get back. So the end balance is 29,289, starting at zero. Total contributions for the return of premium riders, 11,890.80. So you're, they're gonna make, it's, it's not interest, it's guaranteed. And so the annual rate of return is 5.474%. You see that rate of return? 5.474% rate of return. And it's not based on any marketing conditions, it's just what is guaranteed to come back. So to, to make an additional 3303 a month on your premium payment to get the entire amount that you paid into it back is a positive rate of return. So tell me what bank, what savings account can you put 3303 a month in that will guarantee you at the end of 30 years, 29,289,860, okay? The point is, this is a guaranteed return rate of 5.474%. Can someone tell me what CDs are paying? CDs are guaranteed, aren't they? Right, does anyone know what CDs are paying? Is it like, well, the Fed's gonna cut, again, the interest rate. So can anyone tell me? <laughs> I think it's like probably 1% or less than 1% on a, six months CD, even if you go 12 years. I mean, 12 months. Okay, I don't see anybody chatting at me. Does this make sense? That the return of premium is a positive, a positive option, okay? So I really don't have to, you know, go further than someone who is, um, a 35 year old for 150,000. Oh, by the way, not only do they get their money back at the end, but they, they get 150,000 of coverage those entire 30 years. So should they die in those 30 years, they get, their family's get, going to get 150,000 tax free. Okay, whether he died year one or whether he died year 30, right before the end of the policy. Okay, but if he doesn't die, he's, they're, they're gonna get 29,289.60 tax free. Why is it tax-free? Because it's paid with after-tax dollars. There's no, it's not a gain. They get back the money they paid into it. So they're not gonna pay any taxes on it, okay? Does everyone understand the power of, um, the power of that? So return of premium makes sense, financially makes total sense. And if you wanna, you know, convince, um, an account, you don't have to convince an accountant because they got their financial calculators. But here's a, you know, put it, it's easy to do the financial calculation. This is um, an investment calculator.net investment calculator return rate. Okay, so you go to the return rate tab 
as opposed to the end amount. You go to return rate, okay? You put in what the return of premium would be at the end of 30 years. You start out at zero. You put in, you know, 30 years or 20, whatever the, um, uh, whatever the uh, term is, and then put in the additional contribution. In other words, what is the difference between the non-return of premium monthly price and the return of premium monthly price, which in this case is 3303, you hit calculate and it's at the end, contribute at the end of each month, calculate, and then boom, 5.474%. Very simple, okay? Scott says 2% interest on CDs on video. Screen might be frozen. Huh, let's do it again. All right, can you guys see that? Okay, I'm on the calculator.net screen. Okay. All right. Um, so that's the return of premium option. So let's go to Smart UL. Let's look at the Smart UL option. And you can download this from the Alliance quoting.com website, or you can uh, download from the Forester's Carrier page on NEA Leads, and then install it. Okay, so we're gonna go to Smart UL. Okay, so we're gonna go with, uh, okay, it's already age 35. Death benefit is 150,000. We're just gonna run it at target. Okay, so we're leaving everything else the same. Guideline premium test, everything is the same. A type A level, I'm not trying to get too complicated, so I'm gonna keep it simple, right? Everything is the same. Don't mess with anything else, okay? Um, we're not gonna add any riders. We're just gonna, you know, all these riders that come with it are we gonna be pre-checked, okay? So let's do at a glance. So you click here on at a glance. So now the modal premium is 123. Oh, wait per month, okay? That's this modal premium right here, 123.08, okay? So let's go down to year 30. So notice year 30, you will have 48,472, so, so after 360 months of paying into it, of course, there's a permanent policy that'll go the rest of his life. So he's paid in, and that's what this line here, the second column is the accumulated um, pre uh, premiums, cumulative premium. He'll have paid in 44, 308.80, okay? And then the cash value, you know this line here, 48,472. So his cash is 48,472. So 48,472. So in this case, he's gonna, he now, how, what's the difference in price that he's paying from the, the Term Life Express return a premium. So 123.08 minus the 
36. 36. So he's paying an additional 41.72. And the difference in money that he's going to get back, okay, okay, I don't think I've ever done this exact calculation, minus 29.289.60. So he's going to make an additional 19,182.40. Is the net difference. Let's go back to our financial calculator and look at the difference between Term Life Express and Smart UL. Um, okay. All right, so we end up with 48,472. Okay, starting at zero, 30 years. The difference is 41.72. And you intuitively should, should know that it's a positive return on investment, but let me just prove it to you. Calculate. <laughs> Check that out. So it was five point, was it 5.474 return from the non return of premium? And then if you take the, the return of premium option of Term Life Express, compare it to the Smart UL option. Now you get a 6.965% return. In other words, it's like a 7% from the Term Life Express guaranteed return of premium to the index or the universal life, which is not guaranteed, okay? So that's the one thing. It's not like totally guaranteed that that interest rate, because the interest rates could fluctuate, but just, you know, we can't control for that. But that's not bad, like a 7% return. So my question now, I've shown you three options, okay? Let's, um, all right, so I've shown you three options. This is Term Life Express. This is the ROP option, okay? So you're paying 4833. You've paid in 17,000 for 30 years. Oh, wow. I think got hinky. There you go. And then this is how much you're going to have paid into it when you're done with nothing back. Here's the return of premium option, 81.36 a month, but you're going to get back 29,000 back, which ends up being a 4.474% 4. rate of return. You only increase by 33 bucks, get 29,000. Then this is the smart UL option. Okay, so the difference between 123 and 8136 is 4172. You're going to get back an additional 19,000 for that 4172, and that return is 7%. See how that works? It's pretty cool, isn't it? But the only thing with the smart UL. Cool thing about, okay, this is compare, comparing, 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 right? Okay, the cool thing about Smart UL is the client can keep it going. So by the time they're like, okay, that's the end of 65, they can keep this policy going, and now the cash value becomes even a greater difference. So by age 70, they paid 51,000, but the cash value in it is 62,199. They still have $150,000 of death benefit, right? And they can borrow against this tax-free, okay? So is that making sense at all to anybody? The ability to provide someone value. Now let's do another comparison, all right? So let's take, um, So let's just look at, um, so let's go back to, let's take a, a whole life product. So product list, um, whole life portfolio.
Okay, so we're going to choose living promise, level death benefit term, or a level death benefit whole life. So um, let's go with the 35-year-old deed. Oh, okay, they got to be 45. Okay, they got to be as young as 45. So 45, let's say, um, let's do 25,000. Oh, let's do 15, let's do, let's do 20,000. Okay. Um, no riders. So this is a 45 year old living promise, 20,000. <laughs> They're quirky like that. Okay, so that's fifty one oh one a month for their all right. So let's go back to smart UL. Now whole life is written at up to table six standard. It handles a whole lot of health problems. So someone of decent health is gonna pay a little bit more, um, you know, because this is not fully underwritten. So again, they're gonna pay this higher premium per thousand, but Smart UL is rated up to table four health, which means the amount per thousand is lower. So if their health can qualify for Smart UL, let's take a look at what they can get with Smart UL so let's change the parameters. Mine is now 45. All right, this is a near stage product too, so that's the other thing you gotta watch out about that. Death benefit. Um, we can't go below 20, so let's do 25,000. All right, and um, let's do at a glance. So now we're looking at 25,000. The other one was 20. So now look, the premium here, the model premium is 4111. So you got 4111 per month, and this is 25,000. Let's see how much more he could get for um, what he's paying with uh, living promise. So let's do, let's say 30,000. Uh, let's do 35,000. That's 4682. It's still lower than the living promised whole life. Fifty-two, fifty-three. Okay, I'm being a little anal here, but um, let's try 34,000. Oops, I'm sorry. Okay, so smart you well for 34,000. It's 51.38. So literally it's $14,000 more life insurance for this 45 year old for you know, 50, for 51 bucks, 51.38 a month. Do you see the difference? So this is where the Smart UL can be the, a better uh, final expense policy than a whole life product. Does that make sense? Oh yeah, well, yeah, the extra cash. So let's show the extra cash value. Um, whole life doesn't really grow a lot of cash value. So look at all the cash value that grows in it as well as having more life insurance. Does that make sense, gang? That's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, so this is where Smart UL can really beat the pants off whole life, assuming the client can fit into the underwriting guidelines for Smart UL, okay? So basically,
iPhone 2. Yeah, doesn't include the extra cash. <laughs> a lot more growth. Okay, so what I, what I just showed you was fun with numbers, okay? I want to explain to you the value. Even the 50% return of premium with CFG is going to be a positive return on investment if you ran the numbers off the financial calculator. Remember, it's super simple how to do it. Does that make sense? So we have, I showed you Turn Life Express with no return of premium. I showed you Turn Life Express with return of premium. And the rate of return on that difference is 5 point, almost 5.5%, just to round up. And then the difference between the return of premium option and the smart UL is an additional like 7% rate of return on the difference in what smart UL costs versus the return of premium option, okay? Plus all the, you know, great cash value growth, et cetera. Plus the smart UL will go the rest of the person's life, whereas the term will stop, okay? So, um, and you probably can't convert it. Yeah, you can convert it later, but man, Smart UL is a great product, and I'm telling you, and it's as easy as running the illustration. That's about as hard as the illustration is. The only thing you got to worry about is the nearest stage product. All right, gang. So anyway, we are done.